are all doing well. Welcome to our fourth December book review. Today's book is Incendiary by Zoraida Cordoba. And let's get on to the storyline. Renata is one of the magical Moria. She was kidnapped as a child by the King's Justice and used for her abilities as a Robari, a memory thief. Renata was rescued by the Whisperers, rebel spies working against the king. While the commander of her unit, Des, trusts her completely, the other Whisperers cannot forgive her for allowing herself to be used as a tool against her own people. Renata is plagued by the memories that she has stolen, other people's memories, but she remembers little of her own past. She remembers that while she lived at the palace, she liked to spend time alone in the library, and there was another child around her own age, a boy who would talk to her. And she remembers the fire. When the fire started, Des came into the palace and helped lead her out to safety and to her new life with the Whisperers. Now it's years later, and Des is captured by Prince Castian. Renata must return to her old life at the palace to attempt his rescue. Returning to the palace increases her desire to atone for allowing herself to be used to steal others' memories. And the barriers that she has built to her past begin to break down. What Renata discovers may change the way she sees everything. This book was one of those treasures that the more you read it, the more interesting and better it becomes. It is the first book of the Hollow Crown series, and the second of which, Illusionary, will be released on May 11th, 2021, and I can't wait. So what are some similar books that we can read until then? My suggestions fall into two types of books. One, books about people trying to atone for their past or deal with the past. And two, young adult fantasy books with storylines related to atoning for the past, making peace with the past, or political intrigue. My first recommendation is Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetys. And Ruta Sepetys writes a lot of historical fiction. And in this story, it takes place during the time that the Soviet Union was still intact. Lena and her family live in Lithuania, and the Soviet government becomes angry with her father's activity. And so Lena, her mother, and her brother are separated from her father, and they are sent to live in Siberia. So on the trip to Siberia and throughout the story, they encounter others, some cruel, some kind, and some seeking to make up for their past failings. The Last True Poets of the Sea by Julia Drake. Violet and her brother Sam have always been told that their family, the Larkins, are not lucky. They persevere. After Sam attempts to take his own life, Violet becomes obsessed with discovering the lost shipwreck that their third great-grandmother escaped from. The shipwreck she and Sam always dreamed of finding. Trying to make amends, Violet decides to find the shipwreck. The journey Violet takes and the bridges she builds along the way may be the start of something positive for her future. The Memory Thief by Lauren Mancy. The ruler of the city has created a society in which memories are currency and the gifted can take away memories through touch. 17 year old Etta would like nothing more than to live outside the corrupt culture. But she grapples with the guilt of an accident that put her mother in the city asylum. To rescue her mother, Etta must prove her allegiance to the shadows, the rebel group she left after the accident. Etta faces attacks, unexpected romance, and her own past as she uncovers a conspiracy that challenges everything she knew about herself and the world around her. The Smoke Thieves by Sally Green. And this is my final recommendation. A princess whose father is plotting against her 
an idealistic soldier turned traitor, a radicalized servant out to avenge his family, a demon hunter in need of money, and a thief with no clue of his true identity. Their lives intersect due to a stolen bottle of demon smoke. As war approaches, they must navigate a web of political intrigue, shifting alliances, and forbidden love. And that is all I have for today. I'll be back with what I'm reading in January. Until then, I hope that you have a very happy new year and that you enjoy whatever you read. And thank you.